What we're going to do in the next few minutes and subsequently with some uh, still photographs is we're going to look at coatings for marble. Now, there is a worldwide demand for a coating which protects marble against any staining for at least 24 hours and we can offer that coating. So here we have two pieces of marble. We will look at some still photographs of these later because otherwise we'd have to run a, uh, the video for 24 hours. So this area here is non-coated. This area here is coated with our marble protection system. So non-coated, coated with marble protection system. This sample here is coated with our 7045 coating and I'll explain the differences in a second. So we have a thin coating of 7045, 75% mixture and a, uh, a coating of 75% followed by 100% coating on this side here. When we apply, we're going to be applying the standard products. Lemon juice from this container here, red wine from those con that container there. We've tested with Coca-Cola, we've tested, even tested, tested with uh, hydrochloric acid at domestic levels, no staining at all. So let's start. So we're going to start off with lemon juice here, putting lemon juice on the uncoated surface, lemon juice on the uh, uh, protected coated surface, we still get hydroviscity, lemon juice on our item here, uh, 7 and 4, 5, 75%, lemon juice here, 7, 4, 5, full uh, double coating. There'll be no staining. Just push that in there. Next, red wine, of course, as I say, this is a standard test. Red wine on, on the uncoated side, red wine on the uh, our protected side, red wine on here, red wine on here. So, what do we know will be the case? In some hours from now, we will see that there's staining from the, uh, the, the red wine and it basically these acids within the red wine and acids within the lemon juice will cause a blemish and a stain inside the uncoated side. With most coatings, after an hour or two, there'll be a blemish in the coating where the gas from the red wine and lemon juice is permeated it's gone through the coating in gaseous form and then it causes a blemish. There will be no blemishes on here. Same with the 7045. Well, then the question is, why offer two stain-proof coatings for, for marble? The very simple reason is our marble protection system is very, very durable. It will withstand, let's say, uh, 5,000 wiping actions with a scourer and it won't, uh, uh, it won't cause any uh, breakdown in the surface, which is typical of what you do. Mostly you clean a work surface with, a, with a, a soft cloth, but pots and pans and coffee and things like that. So it's, it's the, this coating is very, very durable. The 7045 coating we would, we would su suggest ideal for walls inside hotels, areas like that where you want a glossy finish. We stress a glossy finish. A glossy finish uh, it will withstand graffiti staining but it will not take the same sort of abrasive forces uh, it's a, uh, not quite as hard as our, um, our coating system for work surfaces so fine on walls last there for, for forever but we don't usually abrade the walls so that is the difference so what we what we're going to do is we are I'm just going to jam that up so the drops don't fall off. We're going to leave that now and we will come back and video this and do some close-up images in, uh, in later on today. The, the etching will start within, we know from our testing we can leave this on 24 hours, there'll be no blemishing, but we'll look after maybe four or five hours or even tomorrow morning, there's no rush from our side of point, it will not leave a stain. So we're back at our coated marble and that was about three and a half hours ago. So we can see here, I'm going to move around in a second, we can see here that the lemon juice on this one has dried. That's because as soon as I put it in on, it started gassing away as it interacts, the acid interacted with the limestone, uh, the uh, calcium I should say. So that's dried now. 
Here you can see that the lemon juice has not dried at all and the red wine is de they're depleted. Uh, here we put smaller drops on here, but what I'm going to do in a second is I'll walk around and we've got the cameras hopefully organised so that they'll zoom in on these surfaces and you'll see when I clean these surfaces there'll be blemishes here, there'll be zero blemishes here and zero blemishes here. So no interaction from the acids on, these, uh, on the coatings. So now we're going to do a live footage. So I've got some water. And here we can see it's dry. Here it's fully, um, uh, fully liquidized, should we say. And it's dry on here as well. So. So here we've got a very strong blemish, uh, just a, as typically from red wine, you can see a hint there of the red wine. So here, nothing of course, and if, if you're from the angle that I'm standing at, you can see actually need to work on that, that's a little bit of a residue there. there. With water, and you'll see that there's nothing there, so that's great. And here, I need the water to wipe it away. And then dry it so that you can see here. If I angle that there, there's no blemishes, no breakdown in the surface whatsoever. Okay, so here we go. Just a bit more on there. And there we can see no breakdown on the surfaces. So that's great. 